What's going on guys, this is your games a lot. Today I'm bringing you another little gameplay and commentary, but today we're just going to be talking about all six of the specialist characters from Call of Duty Black Ops 3 that we know of so far. There's going to be a total of nine, but we only know of six of them so far. Each character has a power weapon and a specialist ability, so let's get right into it. The first specialist character's name that we're going to be covering, his name is Ruin. He's one of the more seen of all of them. His power weapon is the gravity spikes, which is uh, it's just a powerful shock wave that you slam the two spikes into the ground and it kills. A, a, it's got a pretty large range around it from what I've seen so far. His ability is overdrive, which allows him to run at a faster pace, about three times faster. The next character we're going to be jumping into is Seraph. Seraph's power weapon is called the Annihilator. It's a high caliber revolver that kills enemies in one kill. Her ability is Combat Focus, which temporarily adds a uh, multiplier to her score, which allows her to grab her, her score streak faster. The next character we're going to be covering is Outrider. Her power weapon is a Sparrow. It's a uh, compound bow that features freaking explosive bolts. Uh, stick to the enemy, and they will kill on impact, I believe, as well as blow up and kill others. The next thing we're going to be checking out is her ability. Her ability is Vision Pulse which allows her to freaking see uh, people through walls. Uh, it's like um, it's like what we've seen in previous Call of Duty. It just highlights them through the wall. The next character we're going to be covering is Reaper. Reaper is the robot guy. His power weapon is the scythe which is basically the minigun from all previous, all, excuse me, all previous Call of Duties. His ability is Psychosis, which just splits him into three total people, and you can't tell which one is the real person. I don't know about this ability. I don't know if this will make it into the final game. It seems like it's not really Call of Duty-ish, but we'll, we'll see. I mean, I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, the second to last character is the Prophet. He's got the Tempest Shocking Gun, which is just a gun that shoots freaking electricity and shocks and kills people. The, the person it impacts and people around him. The next thing that he has is Glitch. This was originally with Reaper, but now it's with Prophet, and it allows him to teleport to a previous location about 10 seconds back, or probably even less than that. The last character is Nomad. His ability, his um, his his weapon is the Hive. It's a deployable pod trap that you put on the floor, and somebody runs over it. They uh, get freaking the little swarm all around them and it eats them alive or whatever. And uh, his ability is absolutely 100% fucking retarded. It's called Reject. And what it is is when you die, you drop to the floor and drop a smoke bomb. And then you come back alive and jump out of the smoke. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to make it into the full build of the game. We are still early in it, but we'll have to see. Alright guys, that's going to bring us to the end of this video. Let me know what you guys think about these abilities, about these power weapons. If you think some are OP, some are dumb, some are whatever, let me know, leave a comment below. Like this video if it helped you out. I would appreciate it very, very much. Subscribe to my channel if you guys would like to see some more of my content. And I'll see you guys in the next video that I create. I'm out.